My friends, it is Black History Month, and in case you didn't know, there are 28 black owned businesses at the Mall of America and joining us with some of the great fashion items you can get at those stores is a fashion icon herself. My dear friend, please welcome back to the show. The always fabulous Sarah Rogers. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Jason. Uh, I'm excited because, well, I, I can't wait to have you back again. We'll, we're, we're getting uh, guests yeah. back into the studio, so I miss you, but it's good to see you however yeah. I can see you. And I love that we're doing this. <laughs> I love that we're doing this segment, and I, and I love that the fact almost 30 stores, that's tremendous, Sarah. That's tremendous. I know. I think so, too, Jason. I was so jazzed to have the opportunity to do this segment so thank you for having me you don't have to thank me I, I i'm glad that we're doing it uh we have four models my friend who are we going to see and what are we going to see first yes. okay let's start out with our first model which is kia and i want to highlight three of the great uh black owned retailers that you'll find here at mall of america uh, she has natural hair that hovers somewhere around the shoulder she is wearing a product inspired hat bucket hat with a built in wig because one of the retailers here is Nicola's wig boutique. So if you need something that's ready to wear your hair is having you know one of those days where it's just not doing what you need to do or working out you've got a great option here. Another great retailer is Coco Niche. She is known for her shoes. Uh, here you're seeing her sneakers. They're the wedge sneakers. They're Italian made. Uh, they're also made uh, to order, so they're custom. Uh, she also has fashions. You probably noticed that beautiful bomber jacket, uh, puffer jacket, actually, that the model Kia was wearing. And you can find that at Coco Nache as well. And she's located inside Community Com. Sarah, I'm seeing not just here, are bucket hats the big thing right now? I mean, Burberry has them. I'm seeing them everywhere. Yes, huge trend, Jason. I love it, too. Uh, it really is just kind of a stylish way to, you know, add a little element to an outfit that you're wearing. And some of them have a little performance fabrication to them as well. So you can wear it maybe when it's uh, raining just a little bit. But we're seeing it for all seasons. So definitely look for that trend. Who do we have next? Okay, next we have our model Braley. And he is showing a hoodie from our retailer, the name is Doran. And Doran is known for his minimalist aesthetic. Uh, really, a lot of uh, his merchandise is just beautifully made. The quality is there. You'll see just very clean lines to it, that hoodie. And he loves empowering, Brandon is the owner, he loves empowering his customers. This is made for future billionaires. And just when I was in the store pulling, I mean, so many people are coming in and buying this hoodie. You'll love the quality. It's a nice substantial weight to it. It comes in other colors too. Uh, with it, I put a pair of jeans from a store here that is called Bougie's. Uh, and this store is known for their contemporary streetwear fashion for men, women, and kids. They have kids fashion starting at toddler size two, going up to size 14, 16 for the kids. And they also have big and tall. And they feature some really big brands as well, like uh, Forest Originals. Uh, so you'll see with those jeans that Mata was wearing, they have like an angel motif to them. So there's an underlayment. So texture and yeah. just a little hidden surprise when you when you see those jeans. Next is Rachel. I thought that was pretty cool. Next is Rachel. Yeah, we've got Rachel. Yes, she's wearing this kimono dress from a boutique here called House of Queens. Uh, and this boutique, upscale boutique, uh, beautiful designs, features vibrant colors and, and prints. Uh, dresses, skirts, but I loved this kimono. Uh, it's so versatile. You know, our model Rachel's wearing it with some jeans from the buckle, but you could wear this with a dress, you know, a bodysuit. You know, you've got so many options. And her earrings are from a boutique called uh, United People Apparel, and they're handmade in Ghana. Uh, they're made of cloth, so they're very lightweight. They make bracelets, too. The bracelets uh, that uh, the models wear in, I don't know if you could had a chance to see them, but they're made of glass. I love that. And they've that. been using these women uh, that make these designs for like nine months, and they've sold out uh, repeatedly. This is their fifth installment, so they're doing really well. That's UPA, United Apparel, uh, 
United People yeah. Apparel, I should say. So okay. we're running out of time. Let's talk okay. about Michael real quick. Who do we yes. have? Oh, yes. Urban 29 Fashions. Love this. He's got a varsity jacket on and a graphic uh, sweatshirt. Look for the design elements. This is a store that really pays attention to the pulse of what's going on with streetwear fashion. Uh, and great designer brands. I just love it. Uh, boots are by G7. Really fun. That designer ja uh, jacket and, and uh, sweatshirt are by Akun. Uh, a king of oneself is the brand uh, and really popular with uh, streetwear fashion. I love it. Love it all. Good thank looks, you. Right? Thank you for doing this, Sarah. I appreciate it. And I can't wait to have you back in studio. Uh, me too, Jason. Thank you. Thank you. All of these stores are, of course, located in the Mall of America. We'll be back after this.